Hey, what's up, guys? I wanted to make this video to talk to you about what it is that you want in life and what price you're willing to pay for that. And I'm going to tell you the things that I want in life and some of those prices that uh, come with those things. So for me, you know, my main goal in life is to be the best father that I can be, primarily. Um, my children are my number one priority, so yeah, being the best dad that I can be is number one. Uh, being a great husband is right up there, you know, second to that. But being an, a good man, a man of honor, is um, way up there always on my list, you know, of things that, um, that I, want, I, I want from life. And, you know, in addition to that, I have personal goals that I like to keep like physical goals, I like to look a certain way, you know, and all these things in life come with a price. So the first part of my question in the title, you know, what is it that you want in life, is an easy part. Everybody can answer that question without any difficulty, you know, because it's at no cost to give the answer. But the second part of the question is where most people get tripped up, you know, and the reason they get the reason they get tripped up is because oftentimes the price that they're willing to pay for the things that they want does not meet the actual required price. And as an example, you know, like I said, to be a good father for me requires a lot of sacrifice, requires a lot of time and effort and willingness to continue to learn. You know, I'm not basing this uh, father figure, this ideal father figure that I have in mind on anything that I'm aware of through my own experience, you know, it's just an ideal that I've created uh, based on my own understanding of life and what I think is best for my kids. So it's an ever-changing thing, you know, I'm, I'm constantly having to evolve and rethink things and make sure that I'm not stuck in my own perspective and you know, possibly harming my kids in an unintentional way by not being more open to, uh, to learning things. So there's a sacrifice and a price required for that. To be a good husband, likewise. You know, I, I can't be fucking around with all these different girls and sleeping around and I can't be partying, I can't be staying out, I can't be doing drugs, you know. I have responsibility. I have to also always ensure that my wife is okay. You know, that her well-being emotionally, mentally, and physically is always right. You know, so I have to always ensure that I'm building her up uh, as I'm building myself up. So again, to be a good husband, there's a price. Um, you know, the physical fitness part for me is huge. You know, I, I don't do it for anyone else. I do it for me. I, I want to be a certain way um, because I, I've always looked at fitness as one of the few things in life that we're always in control of, no matter what our circumstance, no matter where we are, we have the option to choose to be healthy, to be fit, to exercise, or to not. So I've always taken the position that that is an absolute must. Uh, and again, I want to look a certain way for me to feel good about myself and to, to feel that I'm living up to my potential and the standard that I like to hold myself to. It has nothing to do with anyone else's standard. It is completely my own. But there's a price for all that. You know, I got to watch what I eat. I'm constantly 24 hours a day uh, mindful of things that, I'm, that, that I can do that can negatively affect my physical goals. So, you know, I have to be dedicated. I have to be motivated. You know, there's times where I'm in pain and I'm, I'm, I'm just tired and I'm not there as far as the energy and, and the willingness to train. But I do it anyway. So I'm willing to pay the price required for that. Um, another thing for me is business. You know, I, I've always been very business oriented and I have a lot of goals in, in that aspect of life. You know, I, I want to be financially free to enjoy life and seek out my own happiness, however I define that, which has nothing to do with money. But in order to do those things and have that freedom, I have to have money. You know, it's one of those just realities of life. Money is a necessity. It's a requirement. So 
with that being what it is for me, you know, there's a huge price that I pay in that regard. Huge, huge. I sacrificed myself mentally and emotionally, which also translates into physically uh, by being under extreme amounts of stress and constant, constant pressure. You know, that then manifests negatively in my physical well-being. So there's a huge price to pay. You know, I lose sleep. I don't sleep and I'm, I'm, I'm all fucked up because there's a constant, constant requirement with regard to business and continually moving forward in that aspect. So again, these are just a handful of examples that I've given you in my own list of life of things that I want and the prices that are associated with those things. And the point of this video and the reason I'm sharing this with you is so you see and understand that nothing in life is free. Everybody wants to have the fucking good life. Everybody wants it. But very few are willing to first understand and acknowledge the true price for what it is. And even fewer are willing to then make that payment and sacrifice what they need to to get the things that they want. So give this some thought. Think about whatever those answers are for you. What it is that you want in life. And understand that there's a cost associated with it. And if there wasn't a cost, and if it was free or cheap to come by, everybody would have it. Everyone. You know, and in doing that, decide for yourself what kind of person you are. Are you going to be the type that is going to look back in life years from now and talk about all the things that you wanted, talk about all the dreams and, and, and you know, hopes that you had at some other time in your life that you were never able to fulfill? Or are you going to make the decision that whatever it is that I have on that list of my things in life that I want, I am going to fucking pay for it, no matter what. That's the position I take. Those things that I mentioned to you, and there are others in addition to them, you know, they don't give a fuck if I'm sick, if I didn't sleep, if I don't feel well, if I'm fucked up in the head, how, whatever it is, they don't give a fuck. The bottom line is that price exists regardless of my personal condition and circumstance. So if I want those things, I have to continually pay for it. And that's how I look at it. So I shut myself up and I remind myself also, what the fuck is it that you want more? And that's how I prioritize and that's how I make decisions. And that's how I continually motivate myself by reminding myself I knew exactly what the fuck it was when I took on these endeavors, and I'm more than willing to continue to pay for them. So give this some thought, guys. Hopefully I can um, you know, help some of you by giving you some different or unique perspective than that of your own. And um, again, I hope it helped, guys. Thanks.